Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I will try to do this without heavy breathing <laughs> the whole time because I am out of breath. I'm out of room. Um, baby is coming. I'm gonna try to like keep this video rolling. They're just, I haven't done a lot of pregnancy updates because there hasn't been anything crazy to update you on, thankfully, unlike my twin pregnancy. So, I mean, you could have seen the progression of like my nose getting more swollen <laughs> the last 10 weeks, but here you are. Um, I like, I've kept my due date private this whole time just because that was a choice I felt comfortable with. But we've had some changes happen. Um, and so I'm just gonna like talk you through kind of like where we are at this point, what's happening, and then like symptoms and stuff. So baby boy will be here in 10 days at the most. Uh, we decided we just felt really comfortable for whatever reason scheduling an induction on my due date. We did this months ago, just felt comfortable. My due date is, was, 212. It's been February 12th. So I'm like 212. Like that's a cool birthday. Like I'm totally good with 212. 40 weeks. Good with that. Um, what's crazy is the twins were born at 36 and a half weeks and I'm just about at 38 weeks now. So um, I, I've never been this pregnant. Um, I don't feel any worse like being more pregnant now. I mean, I was pregnant with twins before, so I'm smaller. Um, having, I mean, I think with the twins, I gained 39 pounds and this time I've gained like 25 pounds. Um, face is getting puffy just like it did last time. But let me talk you like through what made us decide to bump my induction up because now my induction date is the fourth, two four, which two four two four is a fantastic birthday. I'm like, this, I can, I can work with this, but it's a you know, elective induction. So that morning, if I call and, you know, other women have actually gone into labor, they have emergency C-sections, whatever it is, and they don't have room for me, I have to wait, you know, for my turn. But I'm like, literally praying it works out that way, <laughs> just for like the peace of mind of it all. Um, but let me tell you kind of what made us decide to change that. So I went in for my 37 week appointment today with my doctor. She thinks I'm already like three to four centimeters dilated. Um, I'm having a ton of contractions. I shared that like on Instagram and stuff, nothing where it's actually progressing. She's like, trust me, like you already know this Heather, but like you will know if it's escalating. Like you went through preterm labor, you had actual labor, like like I'll literally have contractions four minutes apart for like two hours every night. So stuff is happening. So tons of Braxton Hicks all day, especially at night. Cause my body is like, oh, we are tired of dealing with twin toddlers all day. We are done. So I've been having a ton of contractions already. She thinks I'm already like three to four centimeters, which is nuts. Like they admit you at four centimeters for labor. So um, that's a big piece of it. And then I, obviously gave birth at 36 weeks before. So we've kind of been wondering like, is my body just gonna think this is like how we do it um, early or go all the way? There's no reason to think I wouldn't go all the way to 40 weeks, but it's been a question mark and it looks like my body's moving a little bit quicker than a full 40 weeks. And so there's that piece of it, but I'd honestly say the biggest piece is that I had like we're basically calling it rapid labor with the twins. It was five hours between my water breaking and them being born both. Like I pushed them out. It was extremely fast considering it was my first birth. It was twins. It was, you know, it was really quick. So they generally say rule of thumb is to cut it in half time wise, second time. So that would give me about two and a half hours, but they think um, my body would how my body would move if my water broke naturally. And that gives me a lot of anxiety. I have shared that on here, I've shared that on my Instagram, that that is truly the only thing that has really, really actually been stressing me out um, because we're like 30 minutes from the hospital. I want an epidural, I have twins. Like last time my water broke at two in the morning. Say it's two in the morning, my water breaks. I, you know, my family would come, but they're like a good 40 minutes away. So I'd have to, you know, call someone local to come watch the kids while 
you know, I call my mom and then she could work her way over here, but then like we'd have to go. And then that all just takes time. And if we're talking like a two hour window here, that that's easy, like 30 minutes before we're like truly out the door, 30 minutes to get there, you gotta check in, which is like Snorville. I mean, if you're like really like, you're giving birth, like they move quicker, but then they might send you to triage. I would love an epidural, that'd be great. I know there's another medicine they wanna give me um, beforehand as well. And so it's just like, this is all, if it goes that way, which literally who knows, like there's zero like textbook for this stuff, obviously. But if it all goes that way, which typically second time with rapid labor, it would, that has been just really stressing me out. Like Alec, literally we have like a blanket in his car in case I start to give birth in his car. I'm like, I really don't like this. So we decided to push the induction date up a week. So I will be induced at 39 weeks. She is like, that is great. You like, that's a fully baked, totally good baby. 39 weeks is great. And I should have an easy process with that. Even though I never thought I'd be induced, but I'm not like afraid of it at all. She said it should go still pretty quick for me. Um, just because of my history of like short cervix and I'm already dilated and blah, 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 blah. So I should be a good candidate for this. I feel like the more I've talked, my body's like falling this way. <laughs> so I should be a good candidate for an easy induction. She thinks it'll be within a handful of hours. Um, so yeah, it's like midday on the 4th, which I really hope I, you know, get because who knows, we'll see. I'll like just start calling in the morning. I don't even know how it works. Like I know I have to call and blah, 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 but that is the update. So we are like nine, 10 days away from maximum of him being here. I mean, if I'm already dilated that much, like he could come anytime. I really want a February birthday. I've said that a hundred times on my Instagram that like, I just want to get to the first, which is a week from today. So I keep saying like, I'll just lay low. Well, my, that doesn't matter either. I laid low with the twins, obviously, and my water broke in the middle of the night. So it's just gonna happen when it's gonna happen. I'm at peace with that, but I'm also at peace knowing that we are close. I feel very close to giving birth. I can like feel it in my bones. So I'm hoping I've got 10 days in me and it can just sort of go more seamless. So keep me in your thoughts and prayers. The fourth would be real nice to just let this all flow smoothly. But that is the latest update. And then little Bebe will be here soon. I can't wait to share his name, share him, to not be pregnant anymore, to have the twins meet him. I'm just so excited to hold him. Just all the things. Yeah, I'm really excited. So this is my last baby update, I would assume. And the next video, including baby, should be with his little cute squishy face in it. So. For the next 10 days, it'll be nothing but eating like high fat foods and proteins and getting him as plumpy as I can so I can have like a little cheek to squish onto. So thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up to encourage me, get me through the next 10 days and I will see you guys soon. Bye.